Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to the bus, early access to the bus. Uh, as always, thank you to Aerosoft for sending us a key for us to have a look at early access for you guys today. Uh, hello to all the mods members, people in the chat. Ryan, the Q, Steg, Stephen Mansell, Arjun, of course, Lorenzo, hello, Spirit Raver, hello, Stephen Bradley, Curtis Hard, yo, Glenn Bixie, hello all, Ross Farrelly, hello, Bart, hello, and uh, Kevin Graham, hello, 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 hello to everybody. So, this is the second video today. Um, we did a little bit of a first view earlier on today. What did you guys think? What, what, what were your guys' uh, first impressions of the bus? What, what, what were you guys thinking? Uh, it'd be quite interesting to know what you guys think about this. Uh, so this evening, I thought what we'd do, we'll do the articulated bus to start with. Um, and I was going to go through a bit more of the details about what to expect at phase one, phase two, phase three, plus the specs required. Uh, Smith, Bad Wolf, hello mate, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the stream, welcome. Um, so yeah, so look, basically if you can play firm bus, if any of you play firm bus, you're going to be pretty solid with this. But they, the minimum requirements they reckon is an Intel Core i5-4460. 8 gigabyte of RAM, uh, a 950 GTX or Radeon R9 280, um, about 25 gigabyte of storage. Uh, but there's only about, I think there's only about 3 gig to download at the moment in its current state of affairs. Uh, phase one, which is what will be available at the start of the early access of the bus. Uh, so if you guys do purchase it this week, uh, bus line TXL with various routes, two bus variants, the articulate and the solo, the single player, free player mode, drive the bus lines any time of the year with the vehicles of your choice. Uh, passenger transport with boarding and deboarding and passenger ticket sales. Okay, so phase two then would bring us the bus modding tools for Unreal Engine 4 game editor. Multiplayer mode for free play. Additional lines 100 and 200. Two new bus variants. AI buses. True to original uh, depot of uh, Gandhi Straub uh, with connections to all bus lines and a full support control for Xbox and PS4. Phase three for me is the most interesting. This is what I think will definitely... Uh, make or break this now unfortunately this is going to be quite a while away but single player economy mode which basically is going to start bringing in the career mode um, create your own bus company buy vehicles high staff maintain repair the fleets generate income with ticket sales multiplayer mode for economy additional bus line 245 with various routes the final bus variant ai trams announcements to the NPC audio dialogues open hub free roaming area between berlin central station and the platz uh, complete tutorial and checklist so yeah look there's a lot going to be happening with this it's um what we have here might not be the final play uh state of play for you guys uh, when it is released this week uh, like i said they updated it yesterday it was improved uh, I, I recorded my video <laughs> four times uh, for the earlier video because i actually made a video when we first got hold of this which was last tuesday um and there were a lot of issues and there was only one bus variant at that time but last night I noticed there was an update, so I redid the video. And the UK map is made. I think people will stick to Omzi. Well, this is what I mean. I think the third-party development. Um, look, I think it's open to have maps anywhere you want. So, like, I think that's what's going to make and break this. If I'm honest with you, um, let's see how many other maybe developers might jump on board and state that they're creating stuff for it. Um, but until they bring in that career mode, it's going to be lacking, uh, and I think that's a huge problem. Of just keeping people busy you'll drive the routes and you'll be like yeah it's great but there's, there's no meaning to it yet so i think the sooner they can get on that economy mode um i, I think will help a lot but yeah it looks good this is the omzi killer <laughs> well look they, they have the potential but again third party development and uh they haven't actually released that they're going to make any more maps it depends is this the game that they're going to stick to from now on and they're only going to develop for this game i don't know they haven't really released much information um, I won't be getting it until people make UK based stuff for it. Yeah, look, I, I can't imagine it being too long. Anyways, look, let's go to free play. Uh, so earlier today we had a little look at the Scania Citywide 12 meter. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the uh, 18 meter articulated. Obviously we're in Berlin. Um, I was going to do maybe at like a night time. We could have dynamic on. Uh, shall we have it a little bit stormy? Yeah, let's see what the storm comes out like for us. And uh, we're going to do our shift in the evening. I don't know if there's a quick way to do this. Uh, not really now, but if the UK maps, then yes. Yeah, look, and, and like I said, if you have that career mode built in, PDP are making that career mode, and uh, we know that they've done the OMSI uh, bus company. Um, so look, I assume they're going to stick down the same routes that they've already created before because they know what they want to do with it. Um, and if you're not paying any extra, 
Like, you know, if you're 26 quid in and you're going to get this multiplayer and all that stuff there, it's going to be a bargain. But, yeah. Let me see Omzi kill. I think Whistle Head Simulator will be the one to kill Omzi. I don't think any of them will kill Omzi. I think Omzi will always have a little place on, on the shelf. Okay, let's press start. Let's just have a little look. It's a bit like 2007 with Train Sim. Yeah, look, I, look it, it has potential. And like you said, it, like, I, I think it will highly depend on mod support. Lotus is supposed to be the Omzi killer. Okay, it's peeing down with rain. I haven't actually tried it in the rain, so we're going to see if it's going to be an FPS killer. Even like, it looks good. It's 21.95 in the UK. Is that what it is in pounds? Yeah, it's about 26 euros. Euros at the moment. I mean, look at the raindrops on there. Like, obviously I'm only streaming in 720, which probably isn't going to do it much justice. Um... And the sounds are pretty nice. Wonder will the bus handle any differently? So, basically, it's just the extension of the uh, the solo. Not a bad little bus. There's plenty of people here that want us to do something, eh? Let's get a look inside then. Think the king never leads forever. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Very true. I haven't been on an articulated since my Australia days. They have a lot of these articulated stuff in the city in Australia. Haven't been on one since then. It's been a long time since I've been on an articulated. Okay, so there's a lot of buttons to remember at the moment. I haven't keyed anything to my wheel. I haven't had time. Apparently it doesn't want to gear up in. What's going on with you? There we go. Uh, Will James, hello mate, welcome to the stream, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the stream. Okay, so we're going to press 9, uh, we're going to press start here, and we're going to put in the number it gives you, which is kind of nice, uh, 90599. Now that's actually doing your destination on the outside of the bus, um, you don't have to press Z like you would in tourist bus or firm bus, um, that will literally now, if we have a look on the old outside, there you go, it should give us our display, you can't read it because it's soaking wet. <laughs> okay, F4 for the wipers. There we go. Nice. Okay, it's, uh, we're done with this one. Why is it all zoomed in? There we go. Okay, let's uh, turn a bit of heat on for these people. Feel like they deserve some heat. Okay, let's turn on our lights for them. Let's put on our headlights as well. The reason when you go in and out, it zooms. I think she's looking alright. Is that actually the route that I take to work? Oh, is it? <laughs> this airport's not in use anymore, though, is it? Is that what you said earlier? I see rain. Yes, we've gone for the thunder and lightning to see what it would be like. First had some articulated buses in Yorkshire, driver hated them apparently, I think they're gone now. Yeah, I, like I said, I haven't seen one in a while. There is actually some here in Galway City, down at the docks, there's three of them. They've been imported from London, they were going to be used for a park and ride that never happened. And they're just sitting there getting rotten. This is a massive upgrade to the firm bus. I, I, I generally do think they've... Um, they've worked... On, on it, like, you know, firm bus was okay, but it was missing the career mode, and I think you know this this could be that bit in the middle, you know. Does it does it play well? Well, that that's the other question. Okay, so we did have a little drive earlier. Uh, what's the time? We are supposed to be departing at 18:30, so we still have two minutes. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, I think. TXL should be BR or does TXL still exist? I'm not entirely sure. TXL is now closed, yeah. Graphics look good, will be nice and it gets more to do on it. Yeah, look, that, you know. <coughs> but they haven't actually announced, you've got to be careful of early access. So they announced at 26 euros now because, you know, there's a limited of features. But as stuff get added, don't get, don't get caught out and then maybe pick it up in a year's time when they've added multiplayer and then all of a sudden it's a 
you know, a 39.99 game, you know, just be careful because they haven't said if they're going to hold to that price, stick to that price. Um, who knows? Okay, I think we're pretty much nearly good to go. Uh, I think it's F10 to shut all the doors. No. There we go. The sound effects of the thunder is pretty nice. Let me know if the game audio is a little high. I will turn it down as well. Just let me know. We're going to put our wipers on a bit faster. So we're going to see if there's any FPS hits. Um, I've not. I've experienced slight lag in little bits of places, but I, nothing, nothing crazy. At the moment, there's two routes. Okay. Oh, hang on. We need our little mirrors. We can't drive out these mirrors. Because it's not articulated, it's a little bit harder to just drive normally. Take it a little bit wider. The rain effect's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie, actually. I really like this in the rain. I'm going to get a couple of screenshots for the Discord. I think it was too bright when I did the video. I should probably, you know, made it a little bit more dynamic weather. It's just the one route, but it has two variants. And the AI are still nuts. They haven't changed since today. <laughs> Look at them, look, look. Hopefully the AI will get sorted out. I like the way that there is actually splash. Can you actually see the splash coming off the rear of the cars there? It's kind of blurry because of the rain. It is absolutely pissing down. Uh, Pix King price, it will be 26 euros. 26 euros. Uh, what was it, Artful 21? 95 in the UK, yeah. And uh, Pixking, hello, welcome, welcome to the stream. So we actually did a video earlier on today, we had a bit of a first look. Um, so yeah, we're going to do this one in the rain, uh, and then what we'll do, we'll do a night run then. Next. The articulated is so quiet. Uh, CS7, C3, why is it raining in the tunnel? I actually think it was supposed to mimic the splashback off the cars because the rain pellets weren't as heavy. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Look, the AI are still bonkers as well. They, they'll just pull out and they crash into each other, which is good fun. I'm in the wrong sodding lane. <laughs> That's it. Take up all the traffic. I really like your hat. One nine four. Yeah, uh, my hat's actually going to be for sale very, very soon. Oh, F one goes to issue reporting. Don't, don't press F one. Uh, I live in Berlin, Germany, in a city who the bus plays. Oh, nice. You can tell us how, how realistic does it resemble. <laughs> and the QV2 also lives in Germany too, which is awesome. Uh, Omg should really have a TXL map based off the BRT. Yeah, you know what? I really like the BRT map on Omg, but unfortunately, even with my high-spec PC, it just does not play. It uh, doesn't matter what I do. I, it just crashes or I fall through maps. There we go. Good crash I had right away. It was my green light, so I don't know what was going on there. Awesome. <laughs> AI rain can be fixed. It's not buffering frames so far. Yeah, look, it's actually holding real good frames. I found once I got a bit more into the city, I was very slight lag. Um, when I've been recording or playing on the side. Like I said, I've had it for about, a, you know, nearly a week now. But I like the rain effects actually comes off the vehicles. It's not flat. 
I, I don't know, it's very hard for you to see. It's not amazing textures, but you can just see the splash coming off the back of the wheels, and that adds something to it, actually. But actually, the more I've started playing this, the more I'm starting to enjoy it. But then I actually like Tourist Bus Simulator. I like Firm Bus. I just, the problem with Firm Bus is I just find there's not enough to do. There's no real career mode apart from just driving all the roads. Um, but like I said, when the career mode gets brought into this, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be real good, I think. Really, really good. And don't forget, guys, so here you go. Here's the AI again. You. Um, this might not be the, the, the state of the version that you may get on early access next week. Like I said, they, they do, even when we get early kind of alpha keys or beta keys, um, you know, they do update all the time every day as they're getting ready for a release. So I'd expect there to probably be one or two more updates, maybe, or at least one update before release. So, you know, some of these little niggles, they, they may be ironed out by then. Simrail is meant to be multiplayer. Yeah, Simrail is going to be multiplayer. That's going to be pretty good. Uh, I've got my eyes on that. Be interesting to see how they do it. I'm actually loving this in the rain. I'm really actually loving it in the rain. Okay, here are our first stop. There you go, a little bit of a curb ride. See, most of them have tickets. You do get the odd one. Here we go. Whoa, 24-hour ticket AB. Okay, 24, AB, one adult, 880. There we go. We're going to take her money. And uh, she wants to get uh, 120. There we go. AB single. And we're going to give her one change. Nice. Is the audio... Uh, for it, okay. This bus is very, very realistic. Yeah, it's nice. Look, I drive Scanias. We have a few Scanias there uh, in the depot. Like the dash, not not city buses, but the, the dash layouts are the same. The rev, you know, the, it's all the same pretty much. Yeah, it looks good. I think we're having a bit of an AI issue here, and I'm going to be very, very, very stuck. Let's hope they fix themselves. If you remember, the um, fan bus sometimes did this as well, or tourist bus. The TLX line is no longer exist. In reality, Tigo Airport is closed, and the new one was built between Berlin and Brandenburg. The airport is called BER Airport, and they already have new buses on the route. Yeah, I've seen that. Please stop hassling AI. Seems to be driving you home. <laughs> yeah. The rain effects are really good. Okay, I'm not sure what we're going to do here. We're, we're kind of stuck. So I think we're going to try and force a way out. Maybe we can just nudge him. There we go. He's gone. Way. It's a real nasty corner that with an articulated. There we go. You can just see the tail. Way. We would have been waiting there for hours, guys. So yeah, hopefully some of these little AI things uh, sort themselves out. I do have the traffic on the fullest. Okay, so uh, I suppose we're kind of rush hour, maybe? Just coming to the tail end of rush hour. There does seem to be more cars than there was um, in my video. A lot of trucks. I got DLC Vienna when it first got OMSI. I never used it. Is it any good? Ooh. Um, yeah, actually, that Vienna route's not bad. I like the left-handed stuff. We will be adding left-handed maps to the company um, on OMSI BCS very, very soon. Um, our, our other company had left and right, and we will be doing the same again. Backspace, reset the vehicle in front. Whoa! Very hard to read and talk with this thing. Okay, we'll have a look at backspace next time we get jammed. Crash equals drink. <laughs> Tea and biscuits for you and your returns. Yeah. Yeah, you know, occasionally you need to just have a look. If, if, I find if you're not quite forceful here, then uh, they'll just bully you.
Inside, if you get a few steam keys with Simrail when it comes out, you should give it to me and Adam so we can do like a banter bash. Yeah, um, uh, look, I've kept an eye on it. They've not released any information on keys or anything yet, so obviously they're not quite at that stage. But look, when it does, I'll, I'll always, as always, I've, I'll try. I did actually ask Aerosoft for a couple of keys for this, but they, uh, they gracefully declined me. <laughs> Um, I wanted to do some for a giveaway, but they, they said no, so I always try and get a couple of extra keys when I can to give out to you guys. Okay. Wait, we like it. Line 100 is a very popular line in Berlin. Uh, it goes past lots of sites. In reality, 100 is used with the man double D. It just crashed into a mountain in Innsbruck. <laughs> How did you crash there? I mean, I bet these are busy routes. I'm actually a bus driver as well, um, Pixel King. Believe it or not, I'm a bus driver in real life, but unfortunately here in Ireland, we don't have nice routes. Like, we have no bus lanes, nothing. Germany are very good for the bus lanes. I feel like they should knock down a lot of Ireland and start again. If Simrail's over $24.99, uh, it will be. I I'm pretty certain it's going to be more than $24.99. Could be wrong, but I, I have a feeling it's going to be more... 29.99 plus Runs much better than Omzi. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look, it's actually running really nice. And look, I've got traffic up set to high. Uh, you know, we've got the stormiest weather that there is. And you can see that, you know, we're not losing any frames. We're not... I don't think we're losing any frames anyways. It doesn't look like we are. I would like to see a UK based train game with good graphics and third party. <clears throat> yeah. The problem with like buses and trains is very niche. Um, I, I don't think it appeals to enough sometimes for them to... Uh... It's green light, go on. I have to get my truck around here. <laughs> So in reality, the bus station will be straight down, guys, like I said before. 
uh, we're just going to turn left. I actually drove down there once. I recorded once and I drove straight down because if you look at the mini map, it says to go down that way. And there's an invisible wall and you just crash. So I learned the hard way. Nice. I don't really see out my mirror very well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy tiger. Small facts about Berlin. Berlin has most of the bus routes in Germany. <laughs> really? It's going to be really hard to read that and drive. Uh, Berlin also has the largest subway track in Germany. Berlin is the largest city in Germany with 3.8 million houses. Nice. You think it's very arcade-like? Yeah, look. I, I think it will have that feel until they bring more as well. I think until you get the... I think it's better than Bus Simulator. Bus Simulator 18, obviously we know that Bus Simulator 2021 will be out, I, I predict, by early June. Um, you know, Bus Simulator 18 is very arcadey. I think this is a step up from Bus Simulator 18, that's for sure. Have you played Fern Bus Football Team Bus? Uh, I, I've seen the repaints and stuff. I don't, I don't know if there's a, a different game for it or not. I can add on. What game is this and how much will it cost? Callum Ford, this is the bus and it will cost you £21 or £22 or €26 Euros depending on where you're living. The exchange rate seems to be ridiculously inflated against the Euro right now. Okay, this is quite a hard turn. Especially with the articulated. Ugh, just over that last curb. This is the new bus simulator and the game plays in Germany, yeah. And is it worth buying? Do you reckon it's better than OMSI? Look, I, I have a place in my heart for, for OMSI, of course. Um, they're, they're completely two different things right now. So I think this has the potential to be, to be really, really good. It has potential. But we've seen it before with TML, with Taurus Bus Simulator, and they've kind of given up a little bit with that. Um, to keep on top of it if this is going to be their main focus now and they really work hard onto it you know it has potential am i from the uk uh, i am originally from london but i live in ireland i work for bus Erin here in ireland um so i actually drive buses here okay this articulated is not going around this corner nicely <laughs> oh. no way I haven't keyed in reverse. There we go. Press Q to zoom map out. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really bother me about having the map in close. I'm actually pressing Q, it doesn't do anything. It does uh, your wiper speed. ABC, single, I'll give him a ticket, there we go. 20 cent back. Drink, yeah. <laughs> uh, Q won't uh, zoom out. It, the keys are not quite the same as, um, you can mind the gap yet. I'm sure it will, but the UK crowd switch has its big shoes to fill. Yeah, look. The difference with OMSI though, OMSI's been out for a long time, so like I said, it, it, it has potential, but 
think what's going to be important to this for them is depending on you know what sales might be like now is there enough it does it interest enough i wonder you know maybe that's why it's coming out early access because they just want to scope to see is is there is there a will for this are, are, are people generally going to be interested in this and most actually most omzi probably does come from the likes of the uk and germany anyways obviously germany have a huge following for omzi so look i'm sure that this is going to sell pretty well over there anyways i think the other casual simmer will pick this up maybe um i mean it runs really well really really well And like I said, we know that PDP are making the multiplayer aspect for this. And we know what PDP can do. Make things extremely difficult. So, uh, you know, we don't know. It's coming along nicely, but it would take like a half decade or more for it to be finished. I don't know when it'll be ready for beta testing. What's that? How is it to drive on the right side in the UK, you drive on the left? Um, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I've spent a lot of time over in France and stuff. And uh, yeah, driven there lots of many, many times. So yeah, it doesn't doesn't bother me on which side I drive on. It just feels normal to me. I can do either. People put on the wish list, they'll keep developers to go to fund them. Yeah, well, look, TML and Aerosoft have big pockets. We all know that Aerosoft. I, I was quite surprised when TML announced this. I was like, yeah, fair enough. But then when I found out the publisher was going to be uh, Aerosoft, I was quite confused. I was like, it's very interesting that TML have gone together with Aerosoft. Now, Aerosoft obviously have huge, huge pockets. So, you know, that could be scope for something in the future now. But the only other thing we know about Aerosoft is, you know, they, they do like to do half a job as well. But they have a lot of money that they could throw at this. So, you never know. You never know. Um, yeah, but it was very surprising that the publisher is actually going to be Aerosoft. As they weren't involved with Fan Bus or the um, Tourist Bus. You gonna go? Of course you're gonna go. He's living up straight as I used to drive upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's also true. Very, very true. <laughs> Not about driving upside down though. <laughs> uh, Hong Kong as well. What's this? I've, I've, I feel like I've missed something that someone said something here. Hang on, let me just try and see if I can move across my screens. No. Okay, the game's not on window mode. I have to wait till the end of the route. Not into buses, so it won't be behind this. Ah, uh, yeah, Richard, why not? When the multiplayer comes out, it could be good. I'm going again now. I wish you a lot of fun. Best regards, Germany, Berlin. No worries, mate. Thanks for hanging out. Much appreciated. really drives on the right so we're technically driving on the wrong side this is true most great air stuff will publish a firm to us but were they I, I didn't think they were Because you don't see anything on the Aerosoft sites for tourist bus and fan bus, not I've seen. <coughs> okay. There we go. Proven wrong. You see, when it came to like DLCs and stuff for fan bus and tourist bus simulator, I've always don't like. I've always been in direct contact with TML. Um, that's probably why I thought that. But this time I had to go via Aerosoft. The TML wouldn't give me access. They told me I had to speak to Aerosoft. So that didn't happen before. So fair enough.
<laughs> not for you. Okay, I'm a bit confused where we're supposed to go here now. Let's have a look at this map. What the frig is the map doing? Okay, well, we're going to go straight on. I'm not entirely sure what's happened to the map there. I hope this is better for bus coach editing anything on a bus in Omsi is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I know, you've been working hard on those lights. Like I said, I don't have the kind of patience for that kind of thing. And to be fair, I really like Tourist Bus Simulator. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. TML own PDP2. Yeah, like I said, it's just very strange. Anytime I've gone looking for keys, normally uh, TML deal with me directly, so it's just a bit different this time, so. There we go. We learn something new every day. Okay, so interestingly enough, the bus just went into reverse. I don't know why. Uh, this is a known bug on the routing map. Is it? I haven't. I haven't encountered that bug yet myself. That was the first time. To be fair. Pretty big map. Seems like a short distance, but it's not. <laughs> Looking good though. Got to love a bit of rain. Enjoy tourist bus sim on around 250 mo two employees. Oh, nice. Yeah, I did a little bit of a Let's Play a long time ago, but it's actually had quite a few updates since then. I have been half tempted to bring something back, but to me, it just requires a lot of editing, unless you stream it. Because it is a bit of a slog, like some of the routes like to get to and from and stuff, it can be quite long. Um, that's why I haven't really bothered doing much on it. Well, I did the same in the video, it's the same curve that I... I... <laughs> Making the whole place go crazy. Oxus Taro, curb check, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I hit the same curb earlier as well. The roads are actually very narrow. I don't know if it's realistic to Germany or not. Oh no, I've actually broken the bus, I think. There we go. As the point of no return.
I don't hit that many curves tonight. Uh, ABC single. Only a few. Oh, look, we found a little. Yeah, we just refresh the uh, the traffic. Okay, the map's a little bit broken again, so straight down. Car models look smart, couple of fan bus, but mostly new. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, new ones. They're quite realistic as well. Obviously, you can pretty much guess the brand, but of course they all have funny names for obvious reasons. Whoa! Alcoholic ginger beer. Ugh. I'm not a big ginger beer fan. Not for me. <coughs> okay, uh, single ticket AB. Destroyer, what's this game? <clears throat> this is The Bus. Uh, it's the new game from TML, the new bus simulator that will be available from next week. I love ginger beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nah, not, not for me. Ugh, it's too... I like vanilla coke. Now nah, ginger beer is too sweet. <coughs> Not my cup of tea. Okay, there's no cars on my inside, so we're just going to take it nice and wide. Even though we had loads of room.
Uh, in Germany, they pronounce uh, Lidl as Lidl. <laughs> Lidl. Yeah, they, they probably do the same here. Yeah, I just got Lidl. I'm a bit lazy. That's how they pronounce it on the adverts. I don't know if it's just me, but the acceleration speed of this bus looks a bit off. Like it's too fast. Oh, it, it, no, it does feel quite fast. I, I will give you that. It, it, the speed can slip away from you very quickly. This is only a 20, 20 zone. The only ginger thing I like is my hair. <laughs> no, I actually like ginger in like cooking. When you feel sick, that's what you should do is juice um, juice a bit of ginger and have like a shot of ginger. Definitely make you feel better. You won't be complaining about a sore throat anymore. You'll be too concentrated on your eyes bleeding and everything else hurting. <laughs> yeah, we used to do that. Back in the day, shot of ginger. <laughs> ginger nuts. <laughs> Is this better than bus sim 18? Um, I believe so, yeah. Friend across, hello mate. Ginger on pizza. Ugh, who puts ginger on pizza? Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be better than bus sim 18 for sure. Bus sim 2021 is due out very soon as well though. But uh, yeah, I think it'll be better. It is better. Ginger is an anti and it's good for nausea and travel sickness. Ooh. Yeah, like I said, when we used to feel sick, this is what we used to get as a shot of uh, pure ginger. Blech. Thinking about it now is making me feel better. First serving, we went with a tactical chanda, and then you'd carry on drinking. <laughs> I like ginger in food. Love my kind of Asian style food. Love a bit of ginger, chili, garlic, coriander. Best combination in the world, but. Mended bus, how do you find driving physics? Um, better. You know, if you're to compare to firm buses, which what we should probably compare to. There are a lot of driving physics issues with firm bus, in my opinion, and I didn't like. This actually holds the road very well. It does understeer. That's the only thing I find there is quite big understeer. Um, but it holds the road nicely now. Like I'm getting a nice feedback in the in in the wheel. It's not too heavy, but not too light. You know, it feels nice actually, real nice. I think they've done, they've done a good job so far. Okay, you want a 24 hour ticket to ABC. Give me your money. Like I said, the biggest problem that we're going to have with this is that we're going to run out of things to do while we're waiting for new stuff. That, that's going to be the hardest thing. Um, ginger and a curry is the bomb. <laughs> ginger and apples. Yeah, ginger and apple goes together very well. But the rain physics are really nice. <clears throat>
Thank you, gonna go. Not to sake. Should have just carried on going. Uh, it seems more polished and firm bus than tourist bus, yep. Farmer Pierce, hello, welcome. Yeah, I, 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 I think, I think it's, I think they're, they're, they're on the right track anyways, that's for sure. Caused a bit of an issue here now, haven't we? UK routes expect for the bus in late 2021, early 22, allegedly. Yeah, I haven't been able to find anything on it. Like I said, the one thing that I was kind of hoping that might be released is people that were, might be third party developing on it. Um, but they haven't released anyone. No one's said anything officially. It makes sense. Uh, what setup do I have? As in, um, what bits do you want to know? Uh, for my wheel, I'm using a TMX uh, Thrustmaster Pro. Uh, okay. We might be able to squeeze through the gap here. No, uh, we're not going to squeeze. There we go. Like nothing ever happened. But if you want to know my specs, it should come up there. Okay, going to our final stop. And then we'll do a night route. Well, we've got the same route, but what we'll do, we'll go the other way, and we'll do it in the night time. James drink. <laughs> I could have just refreshed it, but I thought it would be just easier just to drive through them. sure you're in the wrong lane for doing that. Okay, we're gonna go to exit because I do want to um, pick the other bus. Uh, Farm piece. I'm playing emergency one 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 two. Nice. I'm actually looking for some people to do some multiplayer with that. If you're interested, mate. Can't find anywhere to buy the Airbus Thrustmaster and Quadrant. No, you, you can get the stick at the moment, but the Quadrant's still out of stock by the looks of it. Okay, free play. Let's take the twelve meter out. Um, Bit of a bit of snow, might not be a bit of snow. Uh, we're in Berlin, of course. Uh, what route are we doing? Okay, I'll we'll do this one. Let's get it real dark. Nice, nice, nice. Let's start the drive. Um, yeah, Farmer Piss, if you come join the Discord in the link, um. I don't know what day I'm going to do multiplayer for it. Uh, there's a few others that have messaged me now. Be one day next week anyways. I want to do some multiplayer on that. Yeah, for sure. How would you compare the game to OMSI, Amateur Gamer? I, I don't think it's a good idea to really um, 
compared to OMSI because it's completely different. OMSI is from back from 2012. Now, the good thing with OMSI, of course, is what we've got now, you know, all the third party add-ons, etc. You can't compare them, you know, it'd be... It'd be Apparently this is our starting point, is it? Okay, we're just going to go around on ourselves to the bus stop. Uh, so yeah, so, but you can't really compare it. it it's it's not, in the, it's not in the same league right now. Andre, is it truly Berlin or is it Berlin inspired map? It is truly Berlin, apparently. Okay, let's press start. We are nine eight three nine three. Put a bit of heat up for them. But it's, it's fairly decent, like, I quite like it. It won't be everybody's cup of tea, of course. What's going on with my doors? There we go. It's still raining. Uh, dispatch date, not yet, mate. So I doubt it'll be much in front of you. Why is the bus stops marked with a H? Is that a helicopter? <laughs> Hotkey. Okay, so we're going to just go around ourselves here. We're in a small little solo now, so it's a lot easier. The turning circle, look at that. No, I'm going to get crushed by all the cars. Out the way, out the way. That turning circle is unrealistic as hell. Okay. We do want the... Twenty three hundred. Okay, we're not at the right time, but we'll just go down anyways. Uh, can I get off this bus? Yeah, <laughs> German for bus stop. Hence the H. There we go. Hop stop. Yeah, that turning circle is very unrealistic. As a real driver, like that bus, this bus should easily turn that. Like that was freaking ridiculous. You think about how wide that just had to go there. Uh, there is serious understeer on there, that is for sure. I have to see if I can get Iron Beast to repaint one of these buses for me. Okay, we're just going to go. The, the time's not quite correct, but. In. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that one better. Oh, wrong key. There we go. Spandauerstraße, <laughs> Oh, 
Here in Ireland, it would be a A for ah. <laughs> we just stop. Yeah, that's true. We don't stop for nobody here in Ireland. Okay, buses aren't that great either having it on a local route. <coughs> um, yeah, it'll come down to a bit of preference. I mean, we got some nice uh, Scania's, like the triaxle is. Uh, yeah, I, I, I find that the good thing is Scania is they're fast. Generally, they're, they're a lot faster than the Volvos. I think it looks good at night time. Shop lights kind of light up. I didn't mean to leave it on raining. That was a little bit of a mistake on my part. YouTube gaming, how's the graphics? The graphics are good. I think it looks really nice. Uh, we just did a daytime, and now we're doing a nighttime, just seeing what it's like at night. See what we think. Yeah, graphically, it, it looks great. There's no issues, no frame losses, no lagging. Um, it is a one to one scale road of uh, Berlin. Oh, messed up my doors again. Okay, AB single ticket. Uh, 20 cents for you, love. Oh no. Different price this way around. There we go. Not the same price. <laughs> Like the fan bus, there are some issues. Yeah, no, um, I, I must admit, I think, oh, hang on, my map's disappeared. I think they've made um, some big improvements, like driving-wise, the physics feel better. Hang on, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Straight down. Um, like, it, the bus holds the road nicely. The feedback in the, uh, the steering wheel is about right, I'd say. Um, it's not doing that skidding thing with the brakes, you know, on firm bus where it starts skidding. Like, oh, apart from now when you have to hammer on the brakes. Hopefully the W906 will be compatible for firm bus. Well, I heard there was going to be a crossover on the buses. If you had any of the buses there, they'll probably cross over at some point. Oh no demon children. Richard, you had one job. <laughs> Kurt, you're still here. Uh, Merc coaches are nice. A bit slow, cracking brakes. <laughs> chav, chav driving the course. <laughs> Must admit, they, they don't really drive courses here in, in Southern Ireland. I'm trying to think what they are. They all have like bloody Lexus. map keeps breaking though.
Third exit. <coughs> I really do not like the FPS in Firm. What's funny is you get a good PC, so I don't understand why I drop FPS. That's very strange. Um, I don't drop any FPS really in Firm Bus. This, this isn't dropping any either. I must admit, it's, it's holding really nicely. It's really strange. Max BMWs and Volkswagens. <laughs> <coughs> Here they like the Honda Civics actually. Honda Civics is what they all have. Like 1996 Honda Civic. They all have it here. Richard, I drive a Mac. <laughs> Richard, the undercover chav. I have two cars. I drive a Peugeot and I drive a Skoda. Kurt has a VW. I can imagine you have like a camper van or something. Uh, hey, bug. Greets from Israel. How's the sim so far? Yeah, it's good, mate. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. The biggest problem with it, and uh, it's going to be this for a little while, is the lack of content. The lack of routes. Oh, press the wrong button. I keep thinking I'm playing Omzi. <coughs> I, I like. That's going to be that's going to be our biggest issue, I think, for a while. But once it gets a bit further down the roadmap and a bit more gets released for it, I definitely think uh, it's going to be decent. It's going to be one of these that I might not play very often, but when big updates come, that I'll bring back. If you know what I mean. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, we are turning left here. I don't know why the map keeps breaking. It's really weird. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I must admit, I am enjoying it quite a lot. Yeah, that's really weird. I got 200, 144 FPS in CS and then on high and low, whatever you want to put your settings on. Burn bus. I'm, I'm very surprised that you're struggling with fan bus. What are your specs? That's really strange. Like I've, I've always found tourist bus was the one that was a little bit more iffy on the frames over uh, fan bus. biggest problem on this is the understeer. The buses aren't steering correctly. They should be steering a lot better than this. Uh, nice, thanks. Been keeping an eye on this since 2017. Yeah. Yeah, look, it, it has potential. Once we get further down the road map, like I said, when the career mode comes out, when you actually got something to do, where, you know, you'll own your own fleet of buses and bits and pieces, you know, when it gives you a target, because at the moment we're just driving up and down. There's no real... There's no real achievement of goals, you know. Once you've done it a few times, you'll be fairly like, yeah, you know, happy days. Put that back in the uh, back of the shelf, or uninstall it for a little while. Wait till you hear the next big update, you know. Oh, sugar, right up on the curb there. I think that's the biggest uh, thing on the short term. Payability. I kind of wish they were coming out with a little bit of at least the career mode, but you know. That is what that is. Uh, Lewis, hello from Portugal, mate. Hello, welcome. Welcome from Portugal. It's nice to see quite a, a few new people here in the channel. If you are new, make sure you do subscribe. Come join us on the Discord. There's a nice group of us on the Discord. Uh, we play anything kind of simulation here on the channel. Uh, I kind of keep to the transport theme. Uh, buses, trucks, planes, trains. Uh, but I do play anything else on the side as well. Um, as I am a real bus driver. Uh, GTI Pocket Rocket. I drive a, a Rolls Canardi. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got a Peugeot. I can't remember what it is now. Is it 5007? No, I don't know. Seven seater thing. I can't even think now. What? 5008. Um, that's the posh car. And then my everyday like work car. I've got a Skoda Rapid. Which is new, because as you all know, I did have a, uh, a Ford Focus Titanium SD, but uh, obviously I was in a car collision that wrote off my car, unfortunately, so... A uh, single ticket. There we go. Is it me on the bus that's like he doesn't have any suspension movement when you brake and so Yeah, there's no inertia. You know, you don't you don't feel 
Like, yeah, you're missing the, the head movements. Um, but again, you've got to remember, guys, this is only early access. Um, and they've already updated once since I had it since last Tuesday. So there is possibilities that, you know, things will change for when, you know, early access day comes out next week. Um, you, you might find that these small little things have been added. Um, so take this with a pinch of salt. This might not be the final release state that you will uh, you will find yourselves with. It could be, but it could not be as well. They haven't really said very much, okay? Oh my god, I'm trying to read. I had a BMW X1 Volvo, Ford Mondeo before the... Nice. I'm going to read your specs in a minute if it doesn't go too high up. I have to wait till we get to this bus stop, but I, I can't read. Reading and driving is hard work, guys. <laughs> uh, my specs is like GTX 1080, 8GB, same with the RAM, just my i5, Asus motherboard. Uh, Actually, been watching you since Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hello, sim streamer here. Oh, nice game of deal. Nice. Well, you're always welcome to come join us uh, on our virtual airlines if you want a game of deal. If you stream, and you're more than welcome to fly over our liveries and stuff. Always looking for more pilots. Simply connect VA.com. That is the virtual airlines that uh, we have set up here on the channel. About 66 pilots. <clears throat> I drive 440 BHP Volvo truck. <laughs> nice. Yeah, my daily driver is usually a Volvo B10. Uh, Arjun, mate, catching a bit. Thanks for hanging out this evening. I'm in the wrong lane. have a look here so I was trying to read the uh, the discord to see what's going on See, that turning circle is dreadful. So bad. <clears throat> I must admit, I do think Scanias do have the worst turning circle out of, out of heavy vehicles I've driven, but that is seriously bad. Yeah, see, I drive buses, not trucks. Um... And I'm the opposite. I prefer the Volvo to the Scania's because in buses the light, the the steering is very light, and I like light steering heavy vehicles. Um, again, it comes down to preference, but the Scania's are always faster. I find that's the only difference, especially with the buses. I'm not so sure for trucks. I don't know why I keep doing that. Point of no return. Over the bridge. Lewis, if you're a real bus driver, you should come join the dis uh, bus driver, truck driver, you should come join the Discord. The, the one area that we're lacking are real truck drivers to post pictures. You're always more than welcome, mate.
Uh, single A, B. Can't actually see my one. There it is. I thought I had my light to be on. There we go. Yeah, look, the, the Scania's even in the buses are definitely faster. Oh, I've done it again. Uh, definitely faster. Um, but yeah, I find the steering a bit shoddy. But I suppose if you're doing a lot of straight line work, I suppose it's not so bad. <coughs> a Scania coach is only a six speed manual. No, it's also rubbish. <laughs> I, the last bus that I drove that. Oh, why has it gone into automatic? Uh, the last uh, manual bus that I drove was, uh, they're called Magos. Uh, one of the bus companies I used to work for had one. Little thing, has six speed gearbox in them. Absolute nightmare. I don't know who used to do the drivetrain from, I don't know, was it a Veco? I don't, I don't know, I'd have to find out. Oh, we got green light here. We're good to go. If you have the K model of the CPU, okay, that's something that I don't know nothing about, so that's okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely come check the disco out. It's a good place to be. We're growing nice and slowly. Uh, Connor Gurney, hello, mate. Welcome to the stream. How are you? How are things? How is the land down under? The only place for manual is the old B10. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find one of these Magos. I'm going to see who's actually made it. Hang on, let's go bring up a page here. They were like a 30-seater thing. Oh, there, look, they were Vecos. Oh, yeah, so this is why I used to, I'm going to just switch my screens here for a second. Uh, display capture. Uh, this is what they had. Uh, it, it was more like this one. He had two of these in the yard. They're 30 odd seaters. They are Veco. I thought they were Veco. Absolute nightmare things to drive. You sit so high, but the mirrors are really low. The wheels are a van wheel, basically. Yeah, look, these shoddy things. Here you go. This is the one I used to drive on the tours. When I used to do the tours. I used to drive this bad boy too. This one never went on the tours. Are there any pictures up here? Yeah, I used to hate driving those bloody things. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to the game. My Veco. Oh no, I've just missed the whole red green light. Oh yeah, I'm good mate, how are you? <laughs> not bad, not bad. Yeah, those Magos, the gearbox and them things, like, I can never get them into friggin' reverse. May go, well, <laughs> M-A-G-O, but yeah, it may go. I driven the odd uh, bread van in my time, they were bad enough. Yeah, those, those friggin' things though. And like, the tall roads here, like, going down to the Cliffs of Moor, the roads are extremely narrow. And like I said, you sit very high, but the wheel feels very low and your mirrors are down here on either side and you're always looking down instead of looking up uh, and then like seriously when we ever go parking in anywhere i always have to make sure i was going in forward because if i ever had to reverse you know it'd be an embarrassment for 10 minutes trying to get it into reverse the gear would never go in <coughs> yeah that thing was a shoddy piece of work glad i never have to go near that ever again uh, Robert, hello mate, welcome. Welcome to Berlin. One night only.
Yeah. <laughs> Cat's here now. <laughs> to be honest, I do prefer trucks. At least my cargo don't blame because the air condition and times. So, oh yeah, mate. Trust me. There's nothing worse. I work for the the biggest stage carrier here in Ireland now, and when we do cross country, but some of our buses are 20 years old with no aircon. Oh my god, it's a nightmare. I'd move to Berlin if you could. I've never been to Berlin. I've never really explored much of Germany. Somewhere I'd like to, to explore one day. When all this COVID-19 nonsense is out of the way and we can get back to a bit of normality. Love to go do some of the Christmas markets and stuff. I've always wanted to do that. I have a nice hunting... <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice underground apartment. <laughs> I won't be able to drive and read this chat. <laughs> can barely drive as it is. <clears throat> I wasn't keen when they let auto drivers drive manuals after passing their PCV and auto and put them in four. But yeah. You see, I did my test in a manual because when I did my test, um, if, if you drove an automatic, you could only drive automatic. But now if you do your test in automatic, they give you the manual. Yeah, they should be doing that, really. Okay, was it Berlin or, or was it uh, Amsterdam? Do like the, the taco reader here, you know, we've driven 6.1 kilometers, taking us 40 minutes or so. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to try and turn left into the traffic. Seems like they're letting me go. Very kind of them. Block and a half there, yeah. We should be uh, faster than the truck, <coughs> of course. I think the speeds are a little bit unrealistic. A bus will never pull off that fast, but. God, that horn is terrible. I don't know, can you guys even hear it? It's very faint. Uh, 
that is seriously. <clears throat> you have to really hold the button down too. That is a terrible horn. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be scared of that, would you? One thing I love about the buses when people get in your way and you press the air horn and uh, you see them jump out of their skins. It's the best part of being a bus driver. But this? Whoa! Friggin' Volvo drivers. This is where I'd give them the eyes. And I shake, you know, you do this thing as a bus driver when people do stuff like that and they get caught out at lights and you're next to them. And you look at them in, in the car and you just sh shake your head. You know, that disapproval. You don't say nothing, just... That's what I'd be doing right now. Uh, will James Noise, mate? Catch you in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that Volvo drivers. He wants to get in my lane now as well. These people are just standing out in the rain. They really don't care, do they? steering and when you look at them and they always look straight ahead yeah <laughs> I know I, I love it always make sure I make a point to them when they do something stupid and you catch up because of their ignorance and you just give them that, that disapproved look of shake of the head I always love it as well when something ever happens you always even when it's not your fault it's clearly theirs the public always like you're a professional driver you should know better I'm like uh, I have right away you dickhead <laughs> it's always the same. <coughs> yeah, they're actually really nice. It's uh, it looks beautiful, and obviously I'm not probably doing you guys any justice because I'm only streaming in 720, unfortunately. But like for me right now, this is lovely. When there's more routes and stuff added, like it's it's probably not a you know a bad little investor. You know, I, th I think you know once there's more routes and stuff, I think it'd definitely be a lot lot better. The rain looks good as well, which is very important because we love rain. Rain's very important to this channel. Like I said the, the frames are lovely there's no drop in frames it's it's good load times are very quick as well surprisingly you know if the multiplayer is really good and we get some third party developers that are really into wanting to make some English stuff and things you know it, it could put Om uh, Omji to a, a bit of shame it has it has a, a, a chance I mean it shows that it, it can make big maps Graphically, this is on par with Tram Sim, but I haven't yet to donate whether Tram Sim. Yeah. 
I'd agree with that statement. I mean, we can get out, we can... Can't talk to anyone. Pretty much a full bus here. Wow, she can text out even looking. Look at that. Did you see the one finger send off there as well? That was awesome. I like the way there's a good range of people as well. They only look a little bit scary. Good old fan bus fashion. Yeah, look. <coughs> Yeah, like I said, once we get a little bit more, it's, you know, it has good potential. It'd be interesting over the coming weeks and months how many other developers uh, or third-party developers, even themselves, might come out and say what they're developing for it, what they're planning, maps. Um, it depends what the editor's like. You know, on phase one, when uh, phase two and the editor gets put in, uh, might be interesting to see how that goes. If it's a lot easier than the OMSI as I said, then you know, we could be on for a winner. The sim is much better graphic than OMSI. I find oh, Fernbus. I have Fernbus, but I can't like that sim there. Driving is weird. Y yeah, look. Fernbus is. Yeah, the, the driving physics are terrible. They have got better, though, the last recent updates. Um, I have. You know, the last 400 that we uh, took for a drive there a few weeks ago. Um, they are getting better, but look, seriously, this is holding nice to the road. Like, like I said, the feedback's really good. Um, so they have improved it. Tramps in. <laughs> well, this can do that. Uh, she can probably text with her eyes shut. Well, fair enough. <laughs> There was supposed to be a really big uh, tramp sim coming out, wasn't there? But it got delayed. It was supposed to come out last year. That hobo prophecy, they sent me a key. I tried it, but I really didn't like it, so... I'm not going to make anything on it. Okay, you want a single AB ticket? I don't have a clue where my one is. I thought I turned on the lights, but clearly I didn't. One bright bus. Uh, Glenn Bixie, see you later, mate.
Gunther, hello. I think you're just catching us near the end now. Uh, we're just going into the uh, the airport. Interestingly enough, I think we're going up here, aren't we? Well, next month will be released for many. <laughs> I'm trying to reach a chat. Uh, well, next month will be released for many. Just one of the most DLC features. Iberia is almost it. Yeah, they reckon Iberia will probably be here in a couple of weeks. Microphone is off, which doesn't help. Yeah, Pro Mods is going to be here soon. Uh, Pro Mods, Iberia. Yeah. So there we go, and that is the end of that route. Uh, we did a full route there. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. Um, hopefully, you got a bit of an insight to what it's going to look like, how it's going to play. Um, yeah, look, we're going to keep keep hold of this one. We're going to keep an eye on it. I'll keep an eye on the updates. Yeah, yeah, muted, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, we, we see how it kind of plays out because I'm sure you don't want to keep streaming the same route over and over and over and over and over again. Um, so, yeah, so we'll keep an eye on this, see how it all, all kind of works out. Um, for the week ahead, what we've got to do for the week ahead, what are we going to do? I'm um, going to be flying the Zebo at some point. I uh, wanted to try and do a multiplayer on the new Emergency 112. Um, trying to get some people together that have it not many have picked it up yet um yeah the usual usual kind of stuff for me guys uh, if any of you are new here make sure you subscribe to the channel keep up to date with what's going on come join us on the discord um be nice to have you all here we're on the road to 5,000 now guys we're hitting nearly 5,600 subscribers which is awesome uh so we should get there hopefully very very soon Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's alright. I think they. Uh, I think it's a good start. Let's see if TML can keep up the good work. I think that's where we're going to stick with this one. But thank you to everybody in the chat, all the mods, the members, everyone that's usually here. Stephen, Bart, Kevin, Stephen again. Why not? Uh, Lewis, nice to have you here, mate. Hopefully, we see you on a couple of other streams. Um, and like I said, come join us here on the Discord. A great bunch in there. Uh, Gunther, I know you just joined us quite late. Glenn Bixley, artful, of course, as well. Uh, Curtis Hardwell, James, uh, yeah, everyone Connor Gurney. I don't know who's still here, the YouTuber gamer. Anyone that's still there, kind of lurking. Uh, even Hanley, see you, mate. Good luck, Jonathan Holmes. Goodbye, everyone. Before you saying goodbye, <laughs> uh, yeah. So look, thank you to everybody, and uh, hopefully I will. Uh, I may get emergency one one two when they fix the buggy mess. Not until east. Uh, yes. Well, they actually, um, there was a big update yesterday, and. It's fixed a few bits, but yeah, I know what you mean. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye for now.